Hello and welcome back to Hanati Translates channel. As you can see, I am today in the kitchen, which means we'll be learning some kitchen related vocab. This video could be a great way for you to expand your vocabulary and to learn some new ex expressions. Uh, so what we are going today if you can remember, I have given you a tip earlier on in an earlier video, which is to say things that you are doing. So in the kitchen, you have the chance to say like, I'm chopping the onions, I am washing the dishes, whatsoever. So make sure to have your notebook ready to note down all the new expressions. But before we continue, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more English content. And let's get started. So we're going to start first with the fridge. We do have the fridge here and the freezer down here. Sometimes they are split in two or the freezer up here, but we do have the freezer down here. If we open it, there is something called a pull-out drawer because we basically pull it out. So a pull-out drawer and we have an ice machine and this is what we call an ice bin. In the fridge, we have this part here for different things. Could be for dressings, for nuts. And inside, we have some shelves. So we call these shelves. We have here the crispers. You could call them bins, drawers. Or we have the cheese drawer. And there is something in Canada, in Ontario specifically, that people would be surprised when they hear about it, which is milk. We do not have milks in cartons, we have them in bags. So we buy milk in bags, which is kind of weird, you know? And moving on, we're gonna start with another thing, which is the stove. So when talking about this, the top is called the stove, and this part here is called the oven. And these four things in here are called the knots. So we use the knots to turn on the heat. And let's say we are gonna bake something in the oven. Let's say convection bake. And what we have here is the temperature, which is in Fahrenheit. So 350 Fahrenheit goes turn and then clear. So, going back to the oven, we have some stuff in here. This is called a watt. A watt is used, so we do have oil in it already, is used to deep frying things. So we deep fry uh, fries. And the other thing that we have here is this. We may use it for cookies, for chicken wings. We have the baking sheet or the baking tray and we have the cooling tray. Let's say you're cooking the chicken wings. You don't want you know, them to be so greasy. So this is cooling tray where the grease can go to the baking sheets. Now we have here the uh, countertop and my least favorite spot, the sink. Basically, um, it is not that common to have a sink of granite, like the countertop in Canada and in the US. So we do have a stainless steel sink. This is called the faucet, and this faucet can turn into a sprayer. So the faucet and the sprayer. We also need, of course, the dish soap. And we also have here the scrub sponge. And this thing is called a cleaning cloth. And moving on here, we have the dish rack. So again, this is a dish rack. And here we have the knife set. First thing, we have this bread knife. We also have a chopping knife with a more smooth blade. So again, this is a chopping knife. We also have a steak knife for eating steak. 
And what else do we have in here? We have scissors. And this is called a paper towel rack or a stand rack. So you can call it a rack or a stand rack. Then we do have also something on the countertop, which is the pods or capsules. Pods or capsules for, of course, the coffee maker. You can call it a coffee maker or a coffee machine. We have a tea kettle or electrical kettle or electric kettle, all words work. And the last thing we have here is a machine for the dough, which we call a stand mixer. The most common spot for the microwave, so this is the microwave, is above the stove. If you're wondering why, because we have the light in here, so there is a light, and we also have a vent, a vent or a fan which sucks up all the bad smell when you are cooking. So that's why it is always above the stove. And <laughs> so we call these cupboards so not cupboards it's cupboards so cupboard cupboard more cupboards and in this one we have just seasoning stuff and spices and my favorite cupboard which is the mugs people who know me well know that i am so into mugs so we have mugs here for coffee. We also have glasses or cups. So you can call it a glass because it is actually made of glass. So glass or cup. Then in this one, we have different types and sizes of plates. We also have here a bowl. So bowl. This is a bowl. Of course, we also have some different sizes and most kitchens have what we call a pantry. So a pantry is basically for dry foods, for cans, for snacks. We also can store them in drawers and in these drawers here we have a saucepan a saucepan and here we have a pot so this is a pot and this is a saucepan we also have this little thing for the salad or for the pasta it is called a colander a colander and this is kind of similar but it is called a strainer so colander and strainer we also have in here a pan. So a pan is different than the saucepan. The saucepan is a bit more deep. This one is more shallow. This is called a grater. You can grate carrots, you can grate cheese. So a grater. And the last thing we have here is this. This is a baking sheet, a silicon baking sheet. You can place it instead of a parchment paper for baking. In the second drawer, we have lids. So the lids for the saucepans, for the pots, and this red thing here is the rack where we place the lids. So this is a rack and we have here an onion slicer. So we can slice onions using this. We have here the cutleries, starting with this is a butter knife. So we use it to spread the butter. So again, this is a butter knife. And we also have here, do you remember what's this? It's a steak knife. And we also have a teaspoon and the bigger one is called a tablespoon. So tablespoon, teaspoon. And we also have a fork. So this is a fork. Moving on, 
we have, can you guess what is this for? It's for ice cream. So this is an ice cream scoop or scooper. Now we have here a pizza slicer to slice the pizza. We have a cake cutter to cut the cake and then to serve it, a cake cutter. We also have a peeler. A peeler is used to peel the potatoes, to peel some vegetables. You can use a knife to peel or a peeler. We also have a soup ladle. So this is a soup ladle or just ladle. And this thing here is to sharpen the knives. So this is a knife sharpener, knife sharpener. Then, can you guess what is this for? This is a garlic presser, a garlic presser. And then you have, <laughs> and we have this little thing here where the garlic uh, comes out from. So again, this is a garlic presser or some people would call it a garlic pusher. We have seen this before a strainer but this is a small one so this is a tea strainer again a tea strainer a can opener which i still don't know how to use so this is a can opener and my students know this really well i always drink coffee using a straw so this is a straw and now starting with the second drawer we have here a rolling pin for the dough to flatten the dough. So this is a rolling pin. We also have here a wooden spoon. Wood spoon, wooden spoon, both would work. Then we have here, how does this work? <laughs> a tongue. So this is a tongue. This is a spaghetti server or a pasta server then here we have a spatula or like to scrape things a spatula this is a silicon spatula here we have a potato masher to mash the potatoes and the last thing we have here is a pineapple cutter a pineapple cutter we also have some baking stuff here let me take them out so, here we have the measuring cups, different cups, one cup, two cups, half a cup, then we have the same thing but with spoons, so measuring spoons, we also have a whisk for baking, this is a whisk, another can opener, which we have seen already, and we also have a baking brush. So a baking brush could be used to, uh, let's say, spread some oil or some butter on your pastry. So this is a baking brush. Here we have some oven mitts, Disney oven mitts. Mitts. <laughs> Here we have some oven mitts, Disney oven mitts. We also have, uh, okay, so this is a cling wrap or a plastic wrap to cover your leftovers. So a plastic wrap. We also have, the aluminum foil. This is the aluminum foil. And instead of the silicone baking sheet that we have seen already, we have the parchment paper, which can also be used as a baking sheet. And we still have in here. So these are cheesecloth. A cheesecloth can be used for straining, for steaming, uh, when you're making cheese at home. So a cheesecloth. And we have seen the metal skewers already, but here we have some wooden skewers for barbecue. And we have some extra cleaning cloth. And that's it for this drawer. In this drawer, we have some spices and dry herbs like chili pepper, leaf shawarma. In the second drawer, we have some uh, plastic and glass food containers. They are reusable and we also have the lids. So again, these are the lids. 
And now at the end of the video, I deserve a cup of coffee. So here we go. And this was everything for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in our next video. Bye-bye.